it's Pulse Zero Zero, and this is another UDK tutorial. Um, I know the next video I said that I would release would be on the AI, but when I tried to do it, it didn't seem to work, and so I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you uh, where you might find another tutorial on how to do it. Well, on documentation, there's a video on top-down games and uh, the 3D Buzz tutorials, uh, adding bots, spawning bots. Um, making them shoot at you, all that stuff. Anyway, uh, what I wanted to show here today was, uh, I, it doesn't, it won't look like it at the beginning, but dynamic particle systems. Uh, so far I haven't even seen a single dynamic particle system tutorial yet, so I thought I might make one. Uh, honestly I had no idea how to do this, I just started messing around with cast, or not cascade, but, uh, the, um, uh, I guess it is past kid, but uh, whatever. Anyway, uh, this right now it just looks like a plane, or not a plane, but you know, I just added a bunch of CSGs geometry, and right now it just looks like a flat one, a uh, flat square, but it's not because it's an unlit and everything's the same material. And if I put it into lit, it shows this X. It's like a little fountain with light rays, and this is done with a point light. Uh, if and it does work in game. Those of you who are like, oh well, how did you do that? Because we can't seem to get point lights to work in game. Well, you have to make it dynamic for the uh, light rays to work in game. Uh, and now that we have that, it's uh, we have the three particle systems. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like in game. I'm gonna go ahead and be a spectator. Uh, hold down control then play from here and you'll see what it does is it starts all of these and yes the particles have uh, light rays too and they just bounce around everywhere and they'll go into the fountain and stuff uh, right now I didn't have my own custom water drop thing so I just kinda used one of Unreal's uh, material uh, effects to do this and uh it looks okay, I guess, but um, it lags a lot if I get close to it. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go up, and it looks like that now from the top view. Okay, so that's the particle system. Uh, my, I'm not. I'm going to go ahead and go through the entire process to make it. Um, this is the particle system that I have. I'm going to go ahead and create a new particle system. To, I'm just going to name it Tutorial Particle. Okay. Anyway, this is the Cascade Editor for particle systems. Well, right now it's just the default material for the particle systems. And it's a default everything. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to effects in the content. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you choose to use. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, use the exact same thing I used last time. I'm going to create a new particle sprite emitter. Get rid of this first one. Well, right now it's just the same. It's just shooting up into the air. Uh, well, what we're going to do now is we're going to add lifetime oh wait I think that's the wrong one it already has lifetime uh, size size over life size by life yeah okay um it, that's not needed I just think it looks kinda cool when you add the uh, physics um, then you go to type data and here's where all the physics is uh, physics sprite data oh, whoops it didn't do it for some reason physics sprite data See, now it's starting to bounce on the floor. And well, it disappears as soon as it hits pretty much. So what we're going to do is lifetime. We're going to go ahead and put this up to 20. Now, as you can see, it still just stays in that one spot. It doesn't have the velocity, or it doesn't roll around like and bounce like mine did. But, um, so what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to go to initial velocity, use extremes still seem to not work I huh um, maybe it's in life okay well what we're going to do now is um, 
Hmm. Where was it? Uh. Oh wait, yeah. Sphere. Well, that's just what I use for mine. You can use any of the location ones in there for whatever you want. Um. Spawn. Uh. I'm trying to find where the initial velocity. Huh. You know what? Since I can't for some reason remember anything, I'm just gonna go ahead back to this and I'm going to check oh yeah, dyn old dyna we don't really need dynamic, but uh let's see, initial velocity, use extremes. A lifetime. Oh I only have it at ten, so go ahead and put it back down to ten. Sorry about that. Ah, okay, that's so that why I was right actually it is the sphere oops it's already open um in sphere you can go ahead and go down to velocity and there it'll work now and the extremes just makes it look a little bit better but and the reason why you want to turn it down to 10 is because uh, once it reaches the maximum which is 4000 particles that's all unreal can handle as soon as it reaches that maximum amount uh, the particle particle system particle emitter uh, emitter will shut off until enough particles disappear for it to restart again, and ten will just keep it going on and on. And so what we're going to do now is we've pretty much got everything. Uh, you can go ahead and add the dynamic. It's not required either. At least I haven't seen it. Be, uh, uh, parameter dynamic. And you don't really need to do anything with that, it's just, you know, whatever. Anyway, now what we're going to do is just duplicate the emitter a couple of times. And there you go. That's some, I had like six duplications of it, but this will work too. Uh, just save the thumbnail image if you want an image on it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put this right here just to show that it works. Now, no matter what uh, physics particle systems, it doesn't matter which way you point them, it'll always just go down. Uh, I'm not sure why, but, you know, whatever. Um, anyway, just play from your control spectator, play from here. And there it goes. And they're bouncing on the CSG and just moving around, just like that one. this thanks for watching this tutorial I hope it was helpful to any of you wondering how to do this um, there is a way for those of you like how can I do this to make fluids well you can but I would not recommend it at all because one it requires meshes and two it, since it's meshes it's really really a uh, GPU can some it really just takes a lot of processing and a big, a large amount of GPU to put that in game and just regularly have it everywhere. So, uh, yeah, don't do it. Um, but anyway, uh, so thanks for watching my video. Cam Studio once again is not opening. Uh, thanks for watching and bye.